What's up, everybody? This is Marty Friedman. I'm here at Guitar World, awesome magazine. You're going to learn a ton of stuff from what I'm going to show you. And the main thing I want you to learn is to do things your way. Everything that you learn from what I'm about to show you, I want you to completely disregard after you've learned it. Once you've learned it, I want you to change it. I think once you get the idea of what I'm explaining conceptually and you get it under your fingers, you're going to have an easier way to like change things around, all right? So I'm not going to talk so much. I'm going to try to play more. But the first thing I want to tell you is um, don't sound like everybody else. I mean, everybody plays the same notes. It's your responsibility to change things around. So I'm going to take some basic phrases and just show you different ways to like warp them so they sound already different, even though it's the same notes everybody's playing. One last thing I'm going to say, um, especially um, with what I'm going to be talking about today. Don't look at the neck as this one big thing or big blocks of scales or big blocks of modes or anything like that. Look at it as little road maps, little side streets and little different alleyways and stuff like that and concentrate on those little places. And let me give you an example of that. Let's say you're like in a key of A or something like that, like that. Then kind of a normal, that would be A type of thing, right? So there's about five billion combinations you can do in there, right? Most guys would go, that kind of, I'm speaking Japanese to you. They'd be doing that kind of thing. But why don't we make it a little bit more interesting, okay? So let's go something like, that kind of thing. It just sounds a little bit more interesting than the normal. We want to avoid anything you've really heard anybody else do before. Kind of as a rule, unless you really like that and you want to do it yourself, then of course do it. So first of all, I went like this. That's one. Now, what if we want to change that a little bit further and go simply like. You know what I'm saying? Do the first thing I showed you once. Then maybe. Then. And then maybe. So then what you have is. See what I'm saying? So I'm kind of put, it's kind of random, but this is the way that you can carve out your own niche, so to speak, when it comes to like playing, improvising. So basically, if you want me to slow this down for you, I played, if I can remember what I played, I did something like this phrase. So that's two things right there. A lot of guys go. Which is pretty cool. And I just thought of another thing you could go. So basically, the, it's not really a trick, but what you need to do when you're doing this is you have to know what you're doing. You can't just randomly let your fingers flow in and out of there. So if you can think, okay, just. See what I'm saying? So each one, if you're a beginner guitarist, you should probably practice separately and then kind of weave them together. But the point is, there are millions of combinations that you should explore before just learning the things that, say, that I'm showing you or that you learn from a book. That's the concept here. So continuing on with this concept and even in the same key, obviously I really hope you change keys with all this stuff once this is done, but just for continuity, I'll keep it all in the same key. This is kind of a bluesy type of thing, like what I just did before. Everybody knows this um, kind of feeling in blues. Everybody knows that, right? So let's take kind of an odd numbered approach to this. So something sounds bluesy, but the count is weird, so it gives you kind of a tripped out kind of vibe, all right? So, um. type of thing. So I'll play it slowly for you. It comes out, I, I don't even know what the numbers is, it just naturally comes out because I'm always normally thinking in variations of the norm. So actually it's easier for me to play a variation than something normal. <laughs> so 
anyway, I'll play this thing for you. I just played slowly. Which is a totally normal blues type of phrase. So I guess that's seven right there. Oh, five, I'm sorry. So that's five notes in a row. Right, and then I added this to the top of it. What is that, six? So that's six, so five plus six makes 11. So you're playing like all these bluesy notes, but you're repeating after 11. Actually, there's a phrase like this on my new album called Inferno, by the way, for a shameless plug. There's a phrase very similar to this. So basically you're playing this bluesy stuff, but you're playing in 11. So like if you're improvising over like a blues thing and all of a sudden you do this 11 thing, even though the notes are very traditional, you sound kind of cool because you're playing something semi outside to the whole thing. So I'll play it slowly. The first one is and then so this by itself would also be kind of normal. That'd be a normal thing, but put them together. So these are nice little ways to like, if you need to spice up whatever you're playing, just think that, look, I can play the same notes, but I don't have to do them in the same order as everybody else. And I can put two things together that don't normally go together and work it out that way. Now, I think you should learn what I just played and then change it and do something cooler than that. I mean, that is definitely not the be all end all of this. This is just kind of stuff that's popping in the head for this type of uh, lesson. So um, go for it.